now that the college basketball season is over, all the attention in that sport shifts to what's going on in the transfer portal, especially for North Carolina fans who know that success or failure next year is going to be entirely dependent on what Hubert Davis does over the next few months. However, the portal isn't the only place that talent comes from. Problem is, North Carolina doesn't really have the greatest recruiting class in 2023. But they do have a great class in 24. And if you start to read the tea leaves, reclassification is going to be part of the solution for Carolina. Just put these facts side by side. Due to transfers, Carolina has five roster spots open, and they also have the number one recruiting class a year from now. Bunch of spots open, great recruiting class, number one class. Yeah, it sounds like reclassification. North Carolina would be ripe for it this year. And that class is really the one thing that Hubert has going for him right now. The pressure's on. Some believe he has to perform next year or he might be in trouble. I don't happen to be one of those. I don't think he's on the hot seat that type of way. But there are some real incentive to get some of those guys playing for you right now, including the top player in the class, and that's the New York point guard, Ian Jackson. I think on three has him as the second best player in the class. 24-7 has him as the fifth best player in the class. He seemed to be a one-and-done type of player, one of the best recruits North Carolina has pulled in in a very long time. and doesn't seem like the Tar Heels or Ian Jackson are all that opposed to the idea of reclassification. Adam Zagoria, who's one of the top hoop reporters out there based in New York, had a chance to speak with Ian, who told him while he's still planning to attend North Carolina next year or a year from now, enroll for the 24-25 season, he says he's taking a look at reclassification, which is a big deal. And he says he's having conversations with fellow North Carolina commit and five-star Elliot Cadeau about the subject and that they're recruiting another five-star player who's uncommitted right now from the state of New York to see if he wants to join the Tar Heels. Ian Jackson doing a lot of work here. And you might think, is Hubert Davis opposed to reclassification? He hasn't really welcomed one of those players in yet. Yeah, Hubert is up to do it. He wanted D.G. Jackson to reclassify last year. Asked him that in April when they had the open roster spot before they brought in Pete Nance. He said he was going to look towards joining at about this time. And then after having a good summer, Gigi changed his mind. And North Carolina didn't have a roster spot open. So what I would suspect, North Carolina is going to add some guys in the portal. They need to add some dudes. It can't just be a point guard from an Ivy League school like Pax and Wojcik, all due respect that you add. That's not a dude. You're going to need to add some guys like that in the transfer portal. We understand that. But it's suspect that, expect that North Carolina is going to pick up maybe a couple of guys in the portal over the next month. And one or two players are probably going to reclassify. Or you're going to open up, leave open in June and July, a roster spot or two to have an Ian Jackson join or an Elliot Cadell. I think it's going to be a combination of the two. I think it's going to be... Yes, you're adding guys in the portal, but reclassification. North Carolina has that written all over them, making this a better offseason for them in the way of adding talent.